Breaking news now. We had told you that President Biden would hold his first cabinet meeting in almost a year today. And he opened that meeting by turning the microphone over to his wife, First Lady Jill Biden. Here's the touch. So we're grateful that Jill is here today. Uh, heard that clapping. It wasn't for me uh, when we came in. Um, and uh, here across previous administration, First Ladies have attended these meetings and kind of for specific reasons. This is the first time Jill has joined us, and it goes to show uh, how important the issue is, which she's about to speak to the both of us. Today, at the top of our meeting, Jill's going to uh, give an update on the House initiative, White House initiative, to fundamentally change the approach and fund uh, how we approach and fund women's health services. So I'd like to turn it over to Jill and uh, for any comments she has. And, it's all yours, kid. Thank you. You know, sometimes the White House surprises you. All right. So, as he said, historically, maybe you've seen this sort of thing before at the White House. It's been, though, almost a year since he had a cabinet meeting. And President Biden knows that there's a war in Ukraine, Ukraine, Russia, Russia invaded. Our closest ally in the Middle East is fighting terrorists on two fronts, Israel against Hamas and now Hezbollah. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering why she's there, we just want to fill in the blanks. The First Lady is joining the top of that meeting to provide an update on the progress of the White House initiative on women's health research. So this is not breaking news that she was going to do that. We knew as journalists uh, that she would be there. She did speak for a few minutes. We wanted to show you, because this was just moments ago. They've just started this. We took a little clip of it as it was starting, just to show you how things were starting off. Now, I don't know how much of what's coming next with all those cabinet members will be before the cameras, but whatever we glean from all of that, and certainly from our reporting throughout the day, you will know what happens with President Biden and the first time he's met with his entire cabinet in nearly a year. Remember, Secretary Austin went missing right after the Christmas holidays. He had an illness that he did not disclose, had, had surgery. The, the president's team didn't even look for him, reportedly, for three to four days. So getting together now and letting the public know what's going on with that cabinet, with all that's happening in the world, is critical. And we will